You can do this problem without a Venn diagram, but I really think it makes life way easier, so I'm going to use one. Again, first thing, do not forget, label your sets. I have my A and B. For convenience sake, for this problem, I'm going to label my area. Outside area, I'm going to call this 1. This little crescent area, I'm going to call this 2. This middle area is 3. And this area is 4. And those are really the only 4 areas in a 2 set Venn diagram. Let's figure out what this area is supposed to be. Well, this is probably the easiest thing ever. Intersect B is 3. Let's start filling out this Venn diagram. Here we have a prime is 0.4. So that means 1 and 4 add together is 0.4, but we don't know which is which, so we can't write out anything. B is the same way. We know 3 and 4 add together is that, but we don't know which one's which. We do know that a prime intersect B is 0.25. A prime intersect B reads like the B without the A. That's the easiest way to understand what this is. The B without the A. And that's exactly what 4 is. This is 0.25. We know B is 0.45. Subtract 0 0.25. We have 0.2 for the middle. We know A prime is 0.4. And A prime consists of 1 and 4. If, one, if 4 is 0.25, that leaves 1 to be 0.15. And finally, we have this chunk left, which is 1 minus all this. This is 0.6, so this is 0.4 here. So A intersect B, well, that's this part, so it's 0.2. A union B, that's pretty straightforward too. That's going to be 2, 3, and 4. Yeah, I don't mean 2 plus B plus 4, but you know what I mean, so. And that's going to be 0.85. Here's probably the hardest part. A prime union B. Well, what the heck is that? Okay, so we want... This is union, so this means I want everything that's in A prime or that's in B. Well, let's just know what A prime is. A prime is 1 and 4. B is 3 and 4. So what's A prime union B? Well, I want everything that's included once or twice. So it's 1 and 3 and 4. So now just add them up. 1, 3, and 4. Oh, that's 0.6. And here are your final answers.